Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to have a little discussion this video. I need you guys to please leave a comment in the comment section on what you think about this video, about this topic. So let's hop into it. We are going to talk about NBA 2K15 ratings and ranking system. Now, what I can tell you guys is that 2K, probably about a month or a month and a half ago, they announced a new rosters guy named Mike Stauffer. And this was one of those guys that built up rosters just for the love of the game. Like he was very good at building rosters and 2K recognized that. So they brought him on the team. But check this out. 2K last night in their you know weekly stream that they're always having on Twitch said that there's only four players ranked 90 to 99. Matter of fact, I'm sorry, there's not gonna be a 99 player starting out in NBA 2K15. So LeBron James, no more 99 for you. The fuck? How 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 is that even possible? My man been a 99 for like two games straight. Now nah. No 99 this time, bro. Like they, they just like, nah, bro, man. You lost, you lost about 30 pounds, bro. No 99 for you, bro. <laughs> nah, man. Let me get back to the topic at hand. So, uh, 2K is very avid on building ratings and rankings very tight this year. I think that the reason why they're lowering ratings for players is to cut the cheese. Now, cut the cheese is a term that Scott O'Gallagher uses, um, Zara uses, and these are two new guys that have been added to the development team for 2K. Now, check this out. These dudes are all about simulation basketball, right? So they kind of try to, you know, tend to cut up all that bull crap that happens um they say the 131 cheese is gone the zigzag cheese is gone the charge cheese is gone and you know i want to be a believer i do but i gotta wait until this game comes out so let's get back to these ratings and rankings right so 2k last night in their stream said that the nba 2k account will tweet out kevin durant's rating for the game now they said that there won't be any 99s but i was at least hoping that kevin durant would be like a 97 98 guess what this man rating is his rating is only only a 95 kevin durant the reigning mvp scoring champ for the past couple years is only a 95 overall now check this out lebron james and kevin durant their stats are almost so similar to the point where kevin durant scores more points but lebron james averages more assists but kevin durant averages more rebounds so kevin durant averages as many rebounds as lebron james does assists and it's vice versa whereas though lebron averages as many assists as kevin durant does rebounds so i'm like yo is LeBron James gonna be like a 96 or 97? So like, I'm like, like right now my head is like all torn up. I don't know what to do. So I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's figure out, you know, where other players are gonna be because they only announced that four players are gonna be 90 to 90 plus. So I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. Now check this out. 2K also has this little campaign that they got going on. I think, you know, it's it's like to get their followers up on Twitter and all of that. But, you know, it's, it's, what, it's what they want to do. Me, personally, I would have loved to see like a countdown weekly of, you know, how many players ratings come out. But I guess this will probably be a faster way. Um, they are releasing 100 NBA ratings of players for every 5,000 Twitter followers they get. And they started at 580,000. Now, when 580,000 hit, they dropped uh, 24 players. No, I'm sorry, 23 players. Um, they dropped from 401 to 424. So that 424 gives you the number of how many people are in the NBA. So to give you guys a rundown of this list, there, there are only guys from 64 overall to 67 overall. So think about it like this. If you're a big My Career fan, just know that starting out in my career first day you might be a 64 overall because the the ranking system is so tight and the ratings are so tight that i think that they're going to be having dudes at the at the low, lowest part of the totem pole so um let me give you guys some notables from this list uh everybody knows the beat 
Um, I don't know if too many people know Brandon Davies, but he is our power forward for Philly. Um, Brandon Hayward, I mean Haywood, and everybody knows Brandon Haywood. You know what I'm saying? He he gets bounced around so many times, you know, but it is what it is. Uh, Joel Anthony is on that list as well. Um, who else? Uh, Luke Babbitt uh, on New Orleans, he's on that list as well. Um, who else is on that list? Uh, Cole Aldrich is on that list. Um, and... I think that's really about it. Like, that's the only, like, okay, Solomon Hill's on that list. But there, that's, like, really the only notables. So, um, we have 264 overall players. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 65 overalls. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 66 overalls. I'm sorry, did I count that wrong? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, um, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 67 overall. So now this number only went to 401. So just think about it like this. The, the fourth 400th player that's in his 2K rank might be a 67 overall. Or he might be a 68 overall. But I'm just kind of thinking, like, where does this put all of those all-star players like we talking about all-stars right now we talking about people like Dwight Howard Russell Westbrook Chris Paul Steph Curry uh Anthony Davis uh like it's it's just so many players that you like yo like okay these dudes are all-stars but they not even gonna be a 90 overall like that the average all-star would not be a 90 overall like that that, that just throws me man it, it, like I'm just like, what? What is 2K doing right now? Like, what is what is their plan behind all of this? Like, what is the plan behind lowering ratings? What 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 made you lower ratings? Is it now? This is the thing. There's many ways you can lower ratings in 2K, and the first big thing you can do is lower awareness. Now check this out. Has anybody ever ran with a team and my team with all different types of superstars like you're running an all-star team and dudes is out here doing their jobs whereas though if you run in like a 1-3-1 one, one or any zone or like play physical create chaos like players are getting tip balls they're getting steals they're getting blocks they're doing all this extra over the top stuff whereas though in the NBA it actually doesn't go like that like it's only a few players out here that excel in getting steals excel in getting blocks things of that nature that's why a lot of people call the game cheesy because these dudes is out here just doing miraculous stuff whereas though you know for a fact like yo he can't do that in real life that like that's the main thing people always say yo he can't do that in real life how you just do that so i'm thinking you know the reason that they're lowering these ratings is because they're trying to eliminate that cheese factor so you know maybe they could lower the uh, awareness maybe um some players might excel in offense and not excel in defense vice versa somebody might be a great defender might be average on offense so his rating is where it stands uh what else can uh raise that three point your dunk um your layup ability um your mid-range also has a little bit to do with your overall um your steal your block your uh post defense uh what else uh affects the ratings um your own ball uh no i say on ball defense your uh ball security affects that um what else your um offhand dribbling your dribbling uh attribute itself so there are a lot of different ways that they can lower the ratings but i think that awareness will probably be the biggest thing to take a hit so you might see a superstar last year that had like a 92 awareness might have like maybe an 84 awareness this year like that's that's just my thoughts though like these are all my thoughts you know i'm just i'm just spitballing right now so you know don't mind me but look this is what I want you guys to do. Go in the comment section, leave your thoughts. I'm going to be reading the comments and everything like that. And um, if I see anything that looks decent, um, I will screenshot it and tweet it at uh, Ronnie2K, LD2K, Mike Stauffer, Scott O'Gallagher, Czar, Mike Wang, Rob Jones, and the main NBA 2K account. So, you know, this is IKC signing out. I hope you guys liked the video. I'm sorry you had to look at this still image the entire time. But I'm going to holla at y'all, man. Peace.